Hello, in this video, we will discuss the concept of port security on Cisco switches. So first question is, what is port security? So we provide access to the users, especially here I'm talking about wired access. Uh, we provide wired access to the users with the help of access layer switches. Because access switches have a feature called port security. So what is port security? Port security will actually limit which MAC addresses are allowed from or you can say on a end port. So for example, if I have a network, for example, this is my network and I have some end users here, user 1, user 2, user 3 and i just want to allow these particular users can access my network for example this is port number three and you want that uh, there is a user with a name deepak you want that deepak should be able to access the network from port number three using company's laptop because there are chances Deepak can connect his own laptop to the port and start using network services. But we want to restrict Deepak's laptop. We just want to allow company's laptop to pass traffic through that port. So to achieve this particular thing, we can use port security. Nowadays, we have many dynamic solutions for the same like Cisco Secure Access Solution which uh, you can say uh, which with the help of Cisco ICE we can implement such solutions but this is just a basic solution name is Port Security which is present on access layer switches. So for example, sorry. Uh, for example, uh, we have switch 1, so this is my switch 1, which is present in LAN A. So what I want that uh, only this particular user, PC2, all 10111, is allowed to send traffic from port FA0 by 1. So I will go to port FA0 by 1, I will run the command switch port mode access. So this command is required, otherwise we cannot enable port security in the port. So first of all, port should be accessed. Second, switch port, port security. And now you can specify the MAC address. So there are two ways, there are two ways you can tell switch about the MAC address. First is statically. Here is the option, you can write the 48-bit MAC address of this client. So I will go to physical. Okay, config is yes, switch port FA0 and this is the MAC address of this particular user. Let me copy it. So first way I can tell the switches, I can directly paste the MAC address here that this is the MAC address which is allowed. So uh, the switch is saying port security is not enabled so I will run the command switch port port security. This is the command to enable port security on the port. So first step is you have to enable port security on the port, then you have to specify which MAC address is allowed. So I'm specifying the MAC address of the user which is allowed. Next, there is a keyword that is maximum. Maximum how many MAC addresses you want to allow? I want to allow only one MAC address. And last command is switch port, port security, violation. Violation means what action you want to take if some other MAC address will hit the port. So by default action is shut down. So there is need, no, no need to configure this particular action. By default action is shut down. So it will shut down the port if any other MAC address will hit the port. So I will run the command show port security. So we can see here on port number FA0 by 1, we have defined a sec how many maximum secure MAC address is 1. How many MAC addresses are learned on the port currently 1. And what is the violation action that is shut down. Now I will run the command show port security interface FA0 by 1. So we can see here port security is enabled on the port. For now, port is securely up, violation mode is shut down, 
how many maximum MAC addresses are allowed? One. How many MAC addresses are configured? One. And we have configured that MAC address. So let me try to initiate any traffic from this particular user. For example, I am trying to ping 2111. So I am able to ping. And if I will go back to the switch and I run the command again. So you can see here. Earlier there was no entry because no traffic was initiated from the user but now we have an entry yes this was the MAC address which was last heard on this that this particular interface and this MAC address is a member of which VLAN 1 and as this MAC address is allowed there is no violation there is no violation so what we will do to change the MAC address I will go to the computer I will go to config interface and I will change the MAC address to D1 from D0 and you can see the link color is red why because if we will check the output again the interface is shut down because the MAC address which hit on the port last was D1 and D1 was not allowed so what switch does switch directly shut down the port and you can see here we have an increase in security violation count also now if you want you can add two MAC addresses that yes I want to allow two MAC addresses from the this particular port. So how you can do it interface FA0 by 1 switch port port security first of all maximum you have, I will change it to 2 switch port port security MAC address and I will specify one more MAC address that is D1. Now to bring the port back to working state you have to first shut the port and then no shut it. So if you run the command show port security interface FA0 by 1. Now you can see again the security violation count is reset. If security violation will happen again this count will increase. So this time how many total MAC addresses are allowed? 2 and how many MAC addresses are configured? 2. So if I run the command show run and if I go to the interface so both of the MAC addresses are allowed D0 and D1. So we are able to send traffic with both of the MAC addresses. Let me check. So now MAC address of the device is D1. So if I am sending the traffic, we are able to send. Yes, we are able to send. If we will go to config, we again change it to D0. You can see we are able to send. Yes, we are able to send. See, we are able to ping, we are getting back a reply. Next, what about the other actions? So we have two more actions like interface FA0 by 1, switch port, port security, violation. So we have an action called protect. Protect means just, just, just protect us. And what do you mean by restrict? So actually restrict means restrict the end user restrict the end user and protect means protect my network so we are not discussing the actual the difference between restrict and protect here so we, we will just stick with shutdown so guys in this video we have seen how we can implement port security on access layer switches thank you